What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. Uh, it's against this level 9 Bulgarian clan. Uh, these guys were pretty good, you know? They brought a lot of really nice attacks, had some decent bases. Uh, you know, they do their own YouTube content. So these guys were no joke for sure. Uh, hop over and flip and see what happened. Uh, 7066, Invicta did walk away with the victory here. So you can see they did miss a handful of the 9s, right? DLT juice there. Uh, LD... Uh, so that ended up kind of being the difference in the score, you know, they did get a bully on Alpha. Uh, check it out, though. Invicta cleared up those nines like champs. Good job, gentlemen. Uh, and then even got a couple TH10 triples in there to show you. These guys did have a slight Town Hall 10 advantage as well. Believe all the way down to 7 was Town Hall 11 and 10, and we only had 4, um, and Alpha's brand new. Uh, anyhow, let's just jump right in. I don't have a lot of time to get this recap done out of the way, so check out Roboz's Beast. Uh, bully here, really loving this mass witch uh, bully attack versus these tens, especially these kind of ring style bases. Very, very susceptible to these new witches. Um, if you can get the ward, get them in under the warden and protect them from the infernos and get those free spells down on the infernos, you're gonna get huge value there. Uh, so as you can see, he's kind of gone in uh, with a stone entry, three golems. Uh, letting stuff in has a little bit of a break fail there, but no big deal. Golem's about to get busted in there. Uh, same thing on the top side. Just kind of clearing all this percentage out, but look at all these witches going in. Just going to rip through this section of the base. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, the kitty's here. I do have some visitors today during this recap, so don't mind uh, the extra <laughs> the extra commentary. Um, <laughs> anyhow, uh, free spells go down, like I said, right? Grand, Grand Warden is in there. Boom. Just going to hit that at the exact moment when all those Infernos are targeting that stuff. Witches walk in there and make short work of those Inferno Towers. Not a lot left of this base. Still has the ability on his king, ability on his queen. Just shredding into this base now. A couple witches helping that queen out. A couple witches up there doing some work, right? He's got to be mindful of the mortars and the wizard towers, but there's nice spread on them. And he's getting nice spread on the witches. It doesn't really matter. Once he kind of busts his way out of this core, this base is Dunzo's. Uh, queen is already working her way around the ring, though. Has a couple witches to help her tank. Hasn't even used the ability on her yet. I think at some point he will. He does rage up that king. Going to really just take out this last section of the base, and there is not a left remaining, a lot left remaining on this base. Ugh, sorry, guys. Um, look at all the skeletons. Still still has so many witches. I think he brought 11 witches. He's probably at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. At least 8, maybe 9 of the 11 witches are still alive. So beautiful attack, Robaz. Nice little bully here. You're really getting, uh, getting this uh, 11 versus 10 bully down pat. That's quite a few triples now. Three stars in the bag. All right. So Alpha... Really impressed with this attack. Uh, Alpha is a very new 10. Um, well, let me gem a few things because it does have a max uh, P.E.K.K.A. there. Um, kind of see how this plays out. Uh, brings a jump, a rage, three heals, and a bunch of hogs. So um, I was talking about this earlier that if you can manage to take out certain parts of the base that you know are going to be problematic for the hogs, um, you can still hog a Town Hall 10, and Alpha shows us how it's done here. Beating the way through that wall, gets the golems in. King's going to walk in as soon as he takes out that Elixir Collector. Everything is working its way into the base. Just got to... I love how they're working on that wall there. How stupid is that? <laughs> as soon as I think as soon as this Wiz Tower goes down, they might reroute. No, no, they're just going to stand there on the wall and beat away. So this raid did definitely did not go to plan for Alpha, uh, but it still works out. Gets that rage down, kind of helps out, um, helps the Queen out. She's going to just start ripping through all this stuff. A huge amount of archers coming out of that CC, but the poison is down, taking care of all that. Queen is about to finish off that Inferno Tower. Down it goes. There's only that backside Inferno Tower. He's already sent in hogs under the heels. So it is a multi-Inferno. I thought that's what was, was really interesting. Like normally I would only do this style of attack if that was a multi and this back end one was a single target. Because single targets aren't going to hurt your hogs much, right? Those hogs were really taking a lot of damage, but a level one inferno. Clearly doesn't do that much, right? Because he just ripped through it. Inferno's down, really has his last section of defenses to uh to go. Queen's still in there doing work. Boom, gets hit by that bomb, but no big deal. Just a little bit left, take down that arch tower. The cannon is about to die. 
three hogs or four hogs, all he needs to finish that off. And it's cleanup time. Just needs to buy his king and queen time to finish off these trash buildings. But that is clearly your tree star in the bag. Lots of trash left. This one might have been pretty close on time, but all because of that AI fail, we'll call it. There was clearly a building right here. This wall was open, and the king and golem decided to beat on that wall. Didn't understand that one, Alpha. But nice patience and nice recovery on that hit. So check out Ice's hit here, the Iceman. Going in against a, you know, obviously we're going to be facing a lot of new Town Hall 10s, right? A lot of Max 9s since the update are slowly getting up there, going up to 10, uh, working on their 9.5s. And you can see this guy dropped Infernos right away. Um, I, I have another account that I just went up to 10. Definitely not touching those Infernos until my heroes are like 35. Um, and I got everything else uh, kind of in the mix, right? Like even these walls, right? Like I would focus on my walls first before those Infernos. But everyone does their own thing. Iceman really makes him pay here. Zap Quake down on that Inferno Tower. I thought that was really clever. Bam, bam, bam. See you later, Inferno. This is now basically a Town Hall 9. <laughs> so he brings four dragons, six hogs, a queen walk, 11 balloons. Like, this is like the variety attack, the variety pack snack mix here. So four dragons going in to do a little drag swap in on this queen. Nice funnel has been created for them. They are just going to walk right in here. That queen is about to take notice of them. Bam. Bam, and here come the dragons. See you later, queen. Couple shots on them, on her, and she is dead. They're just going to continue to work in here. Now, one thing about the drag swap, a lot of guys don't realize this. You kind of put your queen so far away from the air defenses. If someone does a little bit of a drag swap and they get your queen, there's nothing to stop them from just continuing to destroy and clean up this section of base because all the air defense are down here. Um, so you can see he sent in the small amount of hogs he had just to help take care of those defenses. Targeted that balloon right at this air defense. Wants to try and make sure the air defense start going down before these dragons work their way over there. Everything's kind of doing work. Still has 10 balloons in the bag. His split kind of heroes here are doing work. That queen's down there to charge into the base. Took out basically all of this section. There's only uh, these two air defense remaining on the side. Dragon's still cleaning up. Uh, this king's getting beat on by this balloon, uh, but still is just making his way in here. Drops these, uh, drops a lava hound now out of the CC to do some tanking just on these two remaining air defense. But if you look, they're are com they are completely exposed now, right? Like uh, the lava hound's going to be in there and they're tanking. There's only a handful of defenses for these loons to go through. Does kind of get them to path in a crummy way unfortunately um, so doesn't quite take the air defense down again and uh, again I can tell you this attack did not go 100% to plan but Ice just kind of stuck it out this hero queen over here does some serious work drops these loons in targeted right on that air defense I believe they do get there just in time yeah rage goes down help them out just got to take out that wizard tower now that queen's going to be in there taking out that expo with no problems whatsoever loons are going to rock their way on over there and help her out too just got to get over top that tesla there's only a few buildings to go drops a couple wizards and a minion for cleanup on the other side just needs that uh, gold storage elixir storage to go down and it's gg triple ugh, <laughs> tree stars in the bag man it's really got a lot going on today okay then i had Good old Padino. He likes hitting up high down from number 21 here. T hitting their top town all nine. Brings a little go, uh, Govaho. One of my favorites. Uh, someone mentioned in, a, in um, the la one of my last recaps about how Govaho is not really viable at 10. That's 100% true. Obviously, multi infernos really wrecked Valks. However, they still have their place, um, depending on the base setup, I would believe. But uh, that is 100% uh, true. However, at Town Hall 9, I believe it's overpowered. And then at Town Hall, Town Hall 9, it's overpowered. Town Hall 10, it's a little bit underpowered. But you can see that Earthquake opened up a big, big chunk of this base. Valks are in. Everything's in. King is in there whacking away. A defensive queen is about to kind of hop on over here and take notice of these troops. Really gets good push in the base. Unfortunately, his queen locks on that Lava Hound, so she's going to be stuck there for a while. But he rages up the king. Those Valks are still in there doing work. They walk on over to that defensive queen. Down she goes, and in comes the Surgical Hogs. Two on each defense, kind of just taking everything out here. <clears throat> good deployment. Still has nine in the bag. Just wants all these outer defenses to go down. First heal has now gone down. He's got another heal to put down over top of this section. I believe there's a DGB in between the Expo and Air Defense here. 
which might be an issue, but he's only got a couple hogs. Oh, I am completely wrong. <laughs> completely wrong. So heals down, and all these hogs are going to be A-OK -okay because there's just the cannon, air defense, and that little lone mortar sitting out on the outside there. No big deal. Hogs are on cleanup. King and queen are on cleanup. Just wreck this base, Patino. Love it. Yeah, I think that would be my statement from watching these attacks. Govaho is kind of overpowered at 9, especially against anti-3-star. And then underpowered at 10 because it's very easily uh, defended by Inferno Towers uh, if they're set up properly. Tree stars in the bag for Patino. All right, I'm going to rock through one more and call it an afternoon. I had a kind of interesting attack. LDP brings, <laughs> shows us how this double zap quake is now overpowered. It makes dragons completely viable at Town Hall 10. Another thing about these huge, huge dead zones is, again, you're really separating your air defense from your queen. Um, so you kind of see how this works out. He does the double zap quake in there. Boom, 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 boom. Down go two of four air defense. He's going to send in a bit of a kill squad right here. They end up getting this air defense at the three o'clock. Um, I don't believe they end up getting this one that's tucked in here, but it doesn't matter because he's got 10 dragons and only the one air defense to, to really defend it. Um, not much you can do about that. So goes ahead, sending everything in. Queen's going to kind of work her way in there. Why doesn't the queen get that air defense? I'm trying to remember. I don't think the queen goes into this compartment. She kind of goes up to this storage and then kind of just starts working her way up here. And that air defense is not targetable from the outside of this wall. She would have had to have been in this compartment to get it. I guarantee that was his plan initially for the queen to just walk in here, get both of those air defense. Unfortunately, is what it is. But when you have 10 dragons and there's only one air defense in the base remaining, um, you can just basically spam it on the queen like he's about to do here. Bam, bam, bam. Down goes the queen. No big deal. <clears throat> in comes the golem, do a little bit of tanking, and here come the dragons. Three dragons in there, start creating that funnel for the rest of them. Drops the rest of them on this gold storage, really help out this king here that's getting whacked on by the Tesla or the golem as well. And drops, what I liked here was he dropped the one up here and it went up. So he readjusted and dropped two more a little bit further down and they immediately target right onto that air defense. That's right. So a few puffs of, uh, puffs of fire and down goes that air defense. They're even going to finish off the CC troops there. So good, good uh, eye on that one, right? You knew you had to do something about that air defense. But the thing was all the buildings in front of it were completely taken out. So it was just completely exposed. You could have dropped anything, you know, any hog, any loon and anything from that side that flies. It's going to go right to that air defense. <clears throat> so drag's just going to work their way through this base now, right? The Tesla's arch tires, they really the only things that can damage him. He's still got his king in there, kind of walking around, helping with the trash buildings. A couple bombs on one drag, and that's always nice, too. Here comes that peck out of the CC, which doesn't, obviously, does not stand a chance with all these dragons up in the air. They do lock onto it, and it delays the attack for a little bit, but no big deal. Does whack down that king a little bit, but still, like I said, boom, all the smoke, all the fire on that Pekka and the king walking in there doesn't stand a chance. Only a little bit of this base to go. I'm going to fast forward here. These drags just take some serious time working through the base, but beautiful, beautiful read. I love the double zap quake. Very creative attack. These new innovative Town Hall 9 attacks really just showing us how Town Hall 9 really is the new Town Hall 8. Is what it is. I guess the game evolves and, uh, Hopefully the new thing is the Town Hall 11, you know, max 11 versus max 11 triples. I am looking forward to seeing that. I really, 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 really hope Supercell does something to eliminate the nature of the new Town Hall 11 attacks being <laughs> create small funnel, drop my warden with a 10 witches and go, <laughs> right? That's just what it seems like. Very spammy attack styles now from the Town Hall 11. Whereas if you watch, um, you know, the old, uh, the old TH10 versus TH10 triple attempts, you know, a max 10 versus max 10 required some serious planning and breakdown to, to figure it out and crack the base. <coughs> and then even if you did, if the slightest thing went wrong, it would be a fail. Um, however, that doesn't seem like that's how it's going to be at Town Hall 11. Um, anyways, only time will tell. Uh, so like I said, Try to make a quick recap. I'm actually uh, not even in 2.0 right now. I'm uh, off. We're doing a DWA scrim. So we got a mixed scrim. Uh, two mixed scrims going on at the same time. Just all the DWA kind of gets in. I think it's about a 35 or 40 man war. Um, 
So I just wanted to rip off this Invicta recap really quickly so I don't have to do it once I get back to 2.0. So I'm going to be behind a little bit on the 2.0 recaps because I don't have the one for the last war we did. And then I'm going to have to do the DWA recap, probably a, a special one for both sides. So stay tuned because those are going to be some really cool attacks from guys that you've never seen before because uh, I think the only two guys from 2.0 are on, on my team at least are myself and Namnug. Um, and then on the opposite team we're facing, I think it's only Chief Lilo, Feathers, um, only a few guys, right? So there's a ton of guys pulled from all these clans. It takes a lot, uh, a lot of setup. <coughs> oh, man, scratch this morning. So anyway, it's going to be some really cool content from some attackers that you haven't seen before. So maybe we'll see some newer style, uh, newer style attacks. Um, that'll do it for the afternoon. Uh, that's your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next tree star. And until then, I'm out.